at school. Um, he's a band director, so he teaches a lot of kids, a lot of kids in his band, and they joke about him losing the weight of one of his students. <laughs> so they say he lost to Josh, and Josh is a skinny little boy, but he's still over 100 and some pounds, right? So they always joke saying, Mr. Barton lost Josh, and then they made him jump on him <laughs> and make him feel what it, what it was like. My wife is Patty, and she's, uh, she's been my dietitian. I eat only what she gives me, and I'm hoping now that I'm off in the summer, I can help, I can help her with that. Uh, but she's been my rock. Grady and Charlie are my sons. They're eighth graders and sixth graders, and they, you know, they're experiencing a new dad. And then I have two daughters that are four-year-old twins, and uh, they say they miss lying on my belly. So they're the only ones not, not in favor of this whole thing. <laughs> hard to say exactly. Um, it's not like one morning I just woke up and it was time to lose weight. It was, I started a diet on Monday. By Wednesday I was done. <laughs> I started my Monday. But there's times when, you know, that was, that was hard. You know, I'd go to bed with my CPAP machine on to keep me from, you know, dying in my sleep from sleep apnea and going to bed every night wondering if you're going to wake up that, that day's tough. Um, so how do you feel when you start? You know, I felt pretty bad. I felt pretty bad. I had everything that I wanted in life, but I couldn't do everything. I remember the doctor told him that it, if he didn't lose any weight, it wasn't a case of him getting diabetes. It was a case of how bad he would get it. And that just really made me feel bad for him. So. Like, um, he's looking forward to actually like riding on some roller coasters with me this summer, which he couldn't do before. He had to get off because it didn't fit the bar over and it was pretty sad. I was listening to the radio, this I guess was almost two years before I started this and I heard an interview with a musician, the lead singer of a group I've never heard called Filter. <laughs> and he uh, was having problems with drugs and alcohol, which I guess is not really that far away from the, the food addictions and the things that you go through when you're, when you're dealing with that. And he said that what finally did it was that he, uh, he got a tattoo on his arm with the day that he was going to quit for real. I decided uh, that my largest fear was the maintenance thing. Losing weight is fun. You get a new number every day and it's exciting and there's motivation. But I thought the maintenance is, is terrifying. So I got this tattoo that says No Surrender, which is a Bruce Springsteen song. And if you check the words out, they're pretty appropriate for it and the date that I started. So if I start to gain and look down at the tattoo, uh, hopefully I can't really be that much of a loser. <laughs> and I can, and, you know, say that that's gonna keep me on track. I gotta take the shirt off at some point, right? <laughs> Actually, um, all the kids on the baseball team, like, one of my, uh, I think it was our first baseman came over and says, your dad looks really good, not in a weird way. <laughs> but, uh, it was funny. Um, actually, last week at my tournament, my baseball tournament, um, I, I looked over to the left field and I saw a man. I didn't know who it was, but it was that. It was pretty cool. You know, it's been amazing just watching his transformation. As he got stronger and stronger, his willpower was stronger and his attitude towards life was stronger and everything was stronger so it was just amazing it was gradual in the beginning like would this work would this work a lot of doubt but once he hit that 30 pound mark he knew he could do it and he just knew it he could see it in his eyes so it's been amazing watching him Kidding. He's really our hero. You talk about local heroes, people who maybe save lives and run into burning buildings, but he's our hero. He's our everyday get up, work out, go to work, earn a good living to support us. He's, he's our hero, and that's the way I look at it. He's just a great dad, a great husband, great person all around. He's just wonderful. We love him. Congratulations, Daddy. You're our hero. Congratulations, Daddy. You're our hero.